What's up guys, Mini Badger here bringing you a Carbage Hill Finds episode 4 I think it is. Um, yeah, it's about 4. So I've started going to Carbage Hill more recently and we go, me and Frog will be setting Sunday now. So yeah, it's going pretty well. I'm enjoying it. But this time, this pickup, I have no games. Didn't find any games, but I'm not too worried about that because what I did find was pretty cool. So, I guess I'm just going to get right into this and start from my goodies. So, first of all, we have uh, Clint Eastwood and Dirty Harry, because uh, Clint Eastwood is one of my favourite actors, if you didn't know that. Well, my, he is my favourite actor. Now, this was sealed, but I opened it because I watched it recently. Um, very nice. Very nice picture of Clint Eastwood in there. So, yeah, I was happy that was sealed. Um, I picked up, now, some of these things are actually gifts from my girlfriend, um, <clears throat> but probably by the time she sees this, she'll have already had them, so, hi Bonnie! Um, but yeah, I got uh, the Smurfs and the Magic Flute because she loves the Smurfs, uh, don't really see the appeal in it myself, but, uh, it was still sealed, so it was pretty awesome, getting a cartoon movie, uh, of I've seen the normal Smurfs, like the, the, the newer versions, but not, I've seen some of the cartoon I don't think, but not like that. Uh, I picked up this for myself, now I grew up as a kid with uh, the Dino, um, it was kind of on every like weekend morning, you had to get up nice and early to watch the Dino. So I managed to pick up this Dino bo DVD box set, uh, and it's featuring Dino All Stars, Dino Video Stars and Dennis and Nasher. So I'm not going to take them out, but they're all, uh, they are all complete. So that was a pretty awesome find, the fact that they're all still there. There's a little tear on the box, which has annoyed me a little bit, but I mean, it's fine. I could, I could fix that with a little bit of paper glue. Um, now, on to uh, comics. You guys know I absolutely love comics. Any um, DC comics mainly I can get my hands on, or Dark Horse, I like the... I do like the more adult comics, but there's an awesome dude at the club that sale that I met and I've uh, got really friendly with friend a brilliant guy, uh, Ross his name is, I don't know if he watches on YouTube videos or yeah, I know I told him about it, but anyway, Ross if you're watching, hey man, um, but yeah, he deals with comics and Skylanders and Disney Infinity figures and Amiibos and he sometimes gets some Batman figures in and other things like that and he's been on the hunt for some horror things for me so yeah he's an awesome awesome guy uh, he's got some great deals and he works out some awesome deals with me as well because uh, we know each other but I managed to pick up these awesome comics off him now if you've seen a couple of I'm not sure if it was the episode 3 or episode 2 but I showed off two Joker comics and a Batman for River comic, and those are the ones I got though, they, they, uh, those three comics are all bronze as well, but this time I took some comics down to trade them, uh, he likes to trade comics, so, uh, I love Transformers, uh, the movies were good, but the original <coughs> uh, Transformers cartoons, I've got all sorts of the box sets, um, I grew up with them, love them. So I managed to get, Ross managed to snag me um, Transformers More Than Meets The Eye comics by DW, So yeah, on, on the on the front, I don't want to cover my mic. On the front of this one, <coughs> there's Soundwave and um, I think um, Shockwave is some yeah Shockwave is there, Soundwave somewhere up the back, Starscream is there. Um, I'm not great with Transformers names. Uh, it's kind of hard to track them. But on the back there's a nice little bottle logo as well and he keeps them uh, bagged, so all it is is cutting a little bit of tape, reading it, putting it right back, but I don't know if I'll take them out, I may, um, I'm, I may end up reading them at some point. Um, I also got from the All That Meets the Eye series, um, this cover, uh, now this one, I'm sure that's Grimlock up the back, I may be wrong, I don't know guys, you guys who are better with Transformers, you tell me. Uh, you can you always have a I think that's Starscream. I think because Starscream's my favourite character, but I'm pretty sure so that's um set the film over for that one. So I think these are the same I'm not sure if it's the same issue but variant covers, but they're, they're awesome anyway. And I got <coughs> more that meets the eye, the sub one. Uh he's trying to get the full set together for me. This is all I had uh, just now. He's actually got me some uh Transformers versus G.I. Joe 
so if I manage to get them off them soon, uh, they'll be in an upcoming video. But I also got this one, more than the eye, the third one, and this one's also got more popular um, characters on it, like Optimus Prime, and um, I think Ratchet's there somewhere as well. But yeah, awesome pals. So, I also managed to get me some DC comics. Now, this one's for my girlfriend. This is a zero issue, so it's not even a number one issue. It's a zero issue, and it's a, the new 52 uh, Harley Quinn pin-up variant cover, which is a little harder to get. Uh, so, I managed to get my girlfriend that, which is freaking awesome. But I know my girlfriend has a lot of these uh, comics. This has got the white back cover as well. Um, she's got like, a big massive bin bag of these, a black bag full of them. Um, so I've actually no idea if she has this. I hope she's not because it'd be nice to surprise her with it. But if she does, oh, that was my water. Um, <coughs> if she does, I'll just keep it for myself and add it to the collection. But I hope she doesn't. Here's what um, we'll find out very soon. <coughs> and I, I got for myself Batman the Mask of the Joker, starring the Joker's daughter, well, Fabulous Freak Show, Live 3. That was an old variant cover, pin up cover. So that was an awesome one as well. Anything Joker related when it comes to comics, I will pick up immediately. So Ross managed to sort me out with them. So Ross, if you're watching this, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Uh, and I'll be down to see you again at some point uh, to get some more Transformers comics off you. Uh, but getting to the... I've got one more comic to show you. Now this one wasn't... From, I went back and showed Ross this one. This is one I picked up from another stall. And it's from um, Transformers Armada. Now the woman had a big like pile of... Um, <coughs> Transformers Armada comics. Well, not Armada, just normal comics. So this was only Armada man I actually seen. But <coughs> she had a load of them. She was like, oh, I'll just give you all of them. There was like 16. She was like, I'll give you all of them for like 10 quid. I was like, I don't really want them all. She had a read for mine. I was like, I just, I'm going to do for how much these take for a comic. She went like, find a pound. I was like, okay, fine, I'll have a look and see what I think. But I only found one, so I wasn't too fussed. So I picked up this one, Transformers Armada. And you can, you can kind of see it on the camera. It's got this really nice, like, foil special cover. And on the back, there's Megatron here. Um, and this, this I think Starstream's on there as well. Um, and Jetfire Bumblebee's there. Um, <coughs> this one is about, like... This comic's based about um, <coughs> the Decepticons are kidnapping the minibots and they're ripping them apart and attaching them to themselves to build better armor and things. So the, the, trans, the, the Autobots haven't really met the Decepticons at this point and this is them just coming against them for the first time. Which is amazing because I love uh, old, older stories from the Transformers and everything. But that was all the comics I got and I managed to pick up three more things. Now, it's few of you may know that know me personally. Uh, that I love records. I have, more, I have a record player and I'm uh, amassing a collection. And um, anything from the 50s and 60s is usually what I vote for, sometimes the 40s as well. Um, so, one of my favourite uh, performers of all time is Frank Sinatra. So, I managed to pick up uh, Frank Sinatra, moved away from the mic there. Frank Sinatra, A Man Alone. And they're all in brilliant condition. This one actually still has like a poly sleeve on it, as you can see. Um, my uncle Paul says he thinks these are the originals, which is pretty awesome as well. Um, <coughs> been playing this one recently. Uh, they're all in great condition. Um, surprised, to be quite honest, because records are very sketchy to pick up, especially uh, at like car boot sales and things. I picked up another Frank Snatcher. Now, this one. Um, I had to do a little bit of work on, uh, not the record itself, the actual sleeve, because the sleeve had, you know, the way record sleeves go, they kind of open into one big piece of paper. So it was just a quick fix, print stick, print size, stick it back with your leave it for a bit. So I got Frank Sinatra, Volume 1, The Early Days, which I quite like the portrait on this one. And this one. Still got the cover for the record. I think this is actually the first time I've showed records on my channel. I may, I may do record reviews, I'm thinking about that because I, I do enjoy it. Um, and last but not least, I found Nat King Cole uh, Sing Great Love Ballads. Because <coughs> I think Nat King Cole is great. It's pretty annoyed there was a. Oh god, what's his name? Ray Charles, there was a Ray Charles record, but um, my uncle says it's horrible and Dean has got to the phone with subscribing scratches, that was his joke. 
um, make of it what you will. But this one was brand new too. Uh, great condition. Not played this one yet, only played that one, Frank and that one. And I loved it. So, yeah, guys, that's everything. My, some records, some comics, some DVDs. Um, <coughs> oh, I also picked up, I don't have it here, I don't know where it is, uh, the droids from Star Wars from, like, the newer films. The, I don't know what droids you can see. Uh, I got a little figure of him because I've got a tank that I need a droid for, so I got him as well. Uh, but I don't know where he is. He's away waging war against the Republic. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, I've got another video coming up at some point soon. But, uh, as I always tell you, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, show me a bit of support. As always, subscribe if you haven't already, keep up to date with the channel, and you can see, you know, all the, the, the constant regular videos like car boot sale finds and a gaming pickup. Um, you can also share the video and let other people you know, uh, see what kind of goes on on my channel. And you can also go over and check out the Facebook page. I've, I'm not really mentioning Twitter anymore because I don't really use it. But the Facebook page, my better Facebook page, you can find a link uh, in the channel R. So make sure you go over and check that out too. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I think about time out of your day to watch me uh, show you what I managed to pick up. Like I said in the last video, I tried to get some live footage and it didn't work this time again. It's just impossible. I want to work on it. But, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed guys. And until the next video, I've been the Minute Badger. Goodbye.